So here I am in the directory of open access journals, which we searched before. And I'd like to go ahead and open up a paper and determine whether I think that it's um, as credible as some of the resources that I found using PsycInfo. So this one here, the internet and video games, causes of increased aggressiveness among young people, looks pretty good to me. I'm going to click into the title. And one of the things that you can do, when, especially when you're using this particular website, Directory of Open Access Journals, is you can get some more information about things like the author's credentials and where they work and the peer review process. So this one has editorial information and you can see right here that they have double blind peer review. So m some people would say that that's kind of like the most rigorous type of peer review because the people that are reading the papers and reviewing them don't know who wrote them and then the people who wrote them also don't know who reviewed them. So it really tries to eliminate as much bias as possible. So that's one of the first things that we can look at that says to us, okay, well, I think this, this has got some credibility going on. Then the other thing we want to do is look at the paper itself. So I'm going to go to the full text again. And this is one that we opened up before also, but I had since closed it. So I'm going to go through the process one more time to reopen the paper. And let's see what we can learn about the author. Okay, so let's make this bigger. So here's her name, very similar to pretty much all papers where they'll list them at the top. And it doesn't give any information right now about, in this space, about where she works. But if you look down at the bottom of the, the page here, you can see that she works at the University of Montenegro in the Faculty of Political Science. So it's very possible that this person has at least a master's, if not a PhD, in political science. If I copy, I just um, highlighted and copied her name, and then I go into Google and I search for her, and let's say um, University of Montenegro. I can get more information about her possibly. Depends on what's available, right? So um, let's see here. The first website here is um, a Wikipedia page, which is not perfect for our purposes, but it sort of looks like the best option here. We can see that she is named as a, an assistant professor, and she's a vice dean for teaching process. Does it say anything else about her? No. But everybody else that works in the department has a PhD, so it's very likely that she does as well. And um, so yeah, that's one other thing you can do is you can go to Google and you can actually Google a person to get more information about them if you're not sure. Especially because, you know, this university is not in North America and we don't know tons about it. But in any case, it seems to me that because this paper had a double-blind peer review process as outlined on this website, and the fact that we can see the author's credentials, it makes me feel like, yes, it's probably pretty credible and I feel comfortable using it.